All right, welcome back to the glamorous life of a knife YouTuber. On the Knives Fast channel, guys, let's start by saying hello and to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and let's and Choo Choo and let's get started. Uh, this is a video about multi-tools and tools and pliers and whatnot. I recorded this video once before last week and my uh, memory card decided to corrupt the file and eat it. Uh, it was not able to be recovered, so here we are. Now, that video was 21 minutes long, so we're going to try to beat that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm trying to beat it it's shorter or longer, so we'll we'll let you know as time goes by. Um, but what kind of this is kind of a philosophy video and kind of an overview of this guy and this guy. So this is uh, well, let's move the slide a little bit. This is the next tool mini sailor. Um, this particular one uh, has uh, some mini pliers on it. Uh, let's see. Let's let's. Um, I'm trying to remember how much it is. So I think this guy was like twenty three or twenty four dollars on Amazon. Twenty four dollars. Um, you got aluminum here. Uh, when it's closed, by the way, you do also have no. There's not cutters on that one. Just pliers. Um, you do have a uh, bottle opener. Now, when I did this video the other day, I sm I tore my thumbnail to pieces so if i don't do very good that's why you have kind of this sheep's footy worn cliffy blade which by the way let's just get this out of the way where's where my cardboard stash go all right uh this guy does cut um actually very whoops that was good the cardboard was already ripped uh very well actually i mean it cuts pretty well for a thin little hollow ground blade which is what it is and cardboard went everywhere but that's all good um, and so yeah, so that and a bottle opener, can opener, and then on this side, um, can I get my thumbnail under there? You have some little mini scissors, and when I say the little mini, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, that's one of the main topics we're going to talk about. And then uh, over here, you've got a flat uh, Phillips head and a flat head uh, screwdriver. Uh, there in that one. So again, it's twenty four dollars. I'll leave a link down below. Now we have this guy. This is my Nipex Cobra uh, pliers. These are the five inch Cobra water whoops Cobra water pump pliers. Might uh, might actually help to show them on camera. Uh, these are really nicely done. As you can see, uh, they are great little pliers. Um, these guys I also got on Amazon. I will also leave a link. They are $31.18. Um, and that is a very good price. Now, what's unique about these is most right angle pliers, you usually have kind of what I call a slip joint, which is where you tip them up, they pull back, you slide them down, you tip them back, and they lock back in. In this case, you have a button. And the way the button works is you push the button, you're able to slide it while you push the button. By the way, you cannot push the button while, while they're... Um, while they're closed it has to be open you push the button you slide you get where you want you let go and it clicks in place it is a spring loaded man all right hold on i'm gonna move my light one more time here i don't understand man i literally have got to come up with something on this lens uh this is such a great lens but it just doesn't like focusing um when there's other stuff in the background and i'm not moving ren and stimpy they're too important to the channel uh, but it really has trouble so i'm sorry about that guys um so yeah good and these are the ones with the teeth as you can see uh you've seen lefty edc show the ones that are flat um and all i do in this case as a matter of fact i had i took a pinion apart the other day and i needed to get the the barrel between uh the two um uh, backspacer screws and um, all I did was just put a rag, uh, kind of sandwich a rag in here and grab it that way. And it worked perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Uh, so in that case, if you don't want to damage something, that's what you do. You can also have seen people put tape on these. Uh, I've seen that. You, you can do any number of different things to keep it from. I just don't see the purpose in the flat ones there because then if you do need to use these, um, you know, to, to really torque something and you don't mind if, you know, it gets scarred up with the teeth, uh, then you don't have that option. But you can get both, of course, which is what I'll probably eventually do. Um, all right. So these are really cool. Now, 
Uh, what I want to talk about, oh, by the way, those are $31.18, and they are five-inch long pliers, um, very lightweight, and I should say, um, let me go around this way, I should say, very nice in the hand. For me, it's a good size. Now, I will say when you're down here like so, if you're on something large, which, by the way, that opening, I believe, is seven-eighths of an inch, so just under an inch on that opening as far as how far you can go. Um, I would say to me, uh, money for these is no more than half to three quarters of an inch, but you know, well, who am I? Um, so, but these are really, really nicely done. And these will be going in my bag that I use for work. Uh, I have had many numerous times uh, where I use the pliers on this guy, which is my beat up old Leatherman Wave. Uh, which has really great pliers, but you have to imagine, guys, that these are going to work out much better in some of the some of the instances that I need to use a multi. -to I mean, uh, pliers than this. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is, with the advent of me getting these Nipex pliers, um, I think my philosophy is changing. Um, so a couple of things here. I think what you're going to see for me as far as carry, and by the way, the, the Wave is still, in my opinion, the best full-size multi-tool. I'm interested, Next Tool actually has, this is, by the way, I didn't even say, this is the Mini Sailor, uh, this little cool one. Hey, Trav, pipe down over there. <laughs> How's that, guys? How'd I do? Um, uh, so this is uh, the Next Tool Mini Sailor. Now, Next Tool just came out with one that's similar to the Wave, which I think is a pretty cool deal. And I will probably be checking that one out. But in the meantime, this is still... Now, when they came out with the Wave, it smoothed out these edges on the plier. And you have a, all of your blades, which in this case, uh, you have a really nice main blade. I mean, excuse me, sawtooth blade. Uh, you have a really nice main blade here. Uh, and then you have a file and a saw blade. So there's your saw blade and your file is right here. And I have used that file. Matter of fact, let's file down that fingernail, that thumbnail real quick. Hold on, guys. This is very important. This is very, very important. Now, um, so uh, I use this guy all the time. I especially use the main blade, the, pl the uh, file, and the pliers. Um, and to me, this is the best full-size multi-tool. I know they have the Wave Plus now. Um, maybe I'll try that someday. But in this case, this guy is a fantastic tool. Uh, I use it all the time. It stays in my bag. I've had it for so long. Uh, the sheath uh, gave up the ghost on me here, but it doesn't matter. I don't carry it on my belt. I carry it in my backpack. Uh, so I just keep using it because it works just fine uh, for how I'm using it. Now, Let's talk philosophy. I think what's going to happen is this guy is going to stay in my backpack. Uh, this is going to go in my backpack. And then this, uh, the Leatherman Micra, uh, will then be the one that is in my pocket. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you carry that in your pocket without scratching it up? Well, believe it or not, I, whatever Hank I'm carrying that day, I put that Leatherman Micra down inside, wrap it up like this, put that down in my pocket. And that keeps it from scratching, and it keeps it from hitting the knife, the main knife that's in that pocket. But here's the reason I think, okay, so the Mini Sailor, the reason I bought it was to see if I would prefer uh, using a pair of pliers as the main tool on a small set, a small multi-tool. Um, hold on, guys. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit and see if that helps. Well, that's all the light we got. All right. So, um, but what you see here is two things. Even though these are roughly the same size when opened, um, when closed, the Micra is very much smaller than the Sailor. It is thinner than the Sailor. It is lighter than the, the Mini Sailor. It's just a smaller tool. So now I've got two things going on. I've got this with a very small pair of pliers in it. And am I really going to be able to do much? Hold on, let me focus there. Am I really going to be able to do much with this tiny little set of pliers? And the answer is no. Uh, they're very thin. Now, if you want to, uh, I think what I used them for the other day was I grabbed a wire 
uh, that I needed to twist and I grabbed the two ends of the wire and twisted it and was able to do that. But as far as torquing on something, this is not gonna be your bet. So then this has tiny, tiny, tiny little scissors. Um, and I have tried to cut with these scissors. Now, would they work for just, uh, for example, if I needed to, I'm trying to open them up, guys. Here we go. If Would they work if I just needed to cut like a string off of my shirt or something like that? Absolutely. But if I need to cut something out or cu even cut a tie wrap if I don't want to pull a knife out in the situation I'm in, like pull a big knife out in front of a bunch of people, uh, you know, maybe cut a tie wrap with, with some, that's not going to cut it. But the scissors on the Micra are perfect for that sort of thing. I have used and abused these scissors. I use these at least a couple times a week and they are great. They cut really well. Um, so you end up with a much larger pair of scissors. So to me, as much as I really like the Sailor, it's just not going to be a great user for me because number one, the tiny little pair of pliers and number two, the tiny little scissors. I just don't think this is going to be one that unseats the Micra in my, in my world. I'll keep it as an option since I've carried it and beat it up a little bit. But for the most part, I think what you're going to see is when in my backpack, there will be uh, the Nipex pliers and there will be the Leatherman Wave. And then in my pocket, there will be the Micra. And then some days, uh, when I feel like it, the Micra will be replaced with a Classic SD. Uh, just because I like to carry a Classic SD sometimes. But again, now you're back down to the tiny little set of, of scissors that don't uh, do as much good. Um, I will tell you, I, I am thoroughly impressed. I have had a lot of pliers over the years. These are some of the highest quality. And what I was most impressed with is I, I in, assumed uh, that when you're out like this, that these were going to flex a lot. And I got to tell you, the flex is very minimal. These are very sturdy, very strong, very well made. Um, that button, I also thought maybe the button was going to be real flimsy. And it is absolutely not. The spring is well made. Um, and very, very nicely done in, in that way. So there you go, guys. That's kind of, I mean, again, I won't bore you to death with that, but that's kind of, I'm going to just state it again uh, to me, unless you want to just tell me something else that I can check out down the road. To me, the Wave is pretty much the best full-size multi-tool, and I'm very happy to have one. And then the Nipex pliers, the Leatherman Micra. I want to get another pair of these. I'm probably going to get some blue ones to put in with my Monday carries. Uh, but I've been saying that and I haven't done it yet. But I just love the Micra. And the Sailor is a really nice tool. If you're interested, maybe you have a different use case than me. And the small pliers would be very good for you. And you don't need much but just to be able to nip a, you know, a string on your shirt or something. And if that's the case, the Mini Sailor might be good uh for you now um trying to remember if there was anything else i wanted to point out on no i mean again for 24 dollars, you can hardly beat this thing with a stick uh again the micro's a little bit more than that i don't remember exactly like 32 or something like that and uh yeah really really cool stuff so guys let me know again we're way less than 20 minutes this time around so you're definitely gonna like that i will leave the link for the nipex uh, cobra pliers i will leave the link for the next tool uh mini sailor uh and if i can f i the the wave is discontinued so maybe i'll leave a link for the wave plus and i'll leave a link for a micra uh down there for you guys so let me know what is your because uh, I think that is definitely going to be my like daily carry. This guy, this guy, and this guy. Um, and uh, let me know. What do you guys think? Uh, very much interested in seeing what you guys carry. So let me know down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. And guys, I appreciate each and every one. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, and like and, and comment on this video. And thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.